so we are done with reverse of a number using stack now we'll see string palindrome using stack how to make it we'll see in general we can get the answer for whether the given string is a palindrome or not but with respect to the stack how to do it that is also we'll see now hello everyone welcome to our channel csc gurus so the question will be asked like this given a string consists only lower case letter check the string is a palindrome or not so anyway made um, m a d a m where if you see in reverse also the same thing which is that's why you are returning one otherwise you have to return zero if it is not a palindrome you have to return zero we'll try to write the program we'll take the help of the concept of stack here. so now first thing what is my logic why i have to use the concept of stack means let us go for this one uh, i'll take a simple example like a b uh, c d uh, might be c b a so something like this which is a palindrome i'll take any way many ways we can do you can take the entire entire characters into the stack but i want to do little bit different here compared to that so what i'll do here is i'll take a first character next b to the stacks next c like this how many what is the length of the string seven so if it is n is the length of the string i'll take n by two characters into the stack so n by two characters into the stack let us suppose if there are eight characters i'll take four if it is nine also i'll take four middle one i'll ignore okay if it is six i'll take three even if it is seven also i'll take first three characters so that is what i'll take a b c totally seven means i'll take first three if it is odd number i'll ignore the middle actually okay if it is odd i'll ignore the middle then i'll start the next what is the next character c i'll compare with the top of the stack are they both same yes pop it and continue what is the next character b same pop it if not same immediately i can say yes it is not a palindrome that's what i'll write a function okay next a so same so such that either you have to complete your string or stack is should be empty in any one of these condition both has to be done at a time so that's why then i can say it is a palindrome string that's what you can follow here anyway i'll try to implement here we can see uh, here i want to make the changes here so n is not required i'm supplying infinite uh, uh, i mean i'm going for infinite supply of stack size you can get it and uh, here this part is not required yeah here also first thing what we need to write we need to take the input character str of uh, might be 100 or 1000 characters i want to take maximum anyway not to get the length of the string n i'll take might be the variable i is required i'll write get s to read a string get s str or you can use scanf or scanf with the uh, cap slash n many ways are there okay once you get it what i want to do okay anyway i want to push it each and every character until half for i equals zero and before that how can i go for half of the elements first thing i want to find the length of the string right so how to find the length of the string how to find the length of the string means you can use str alien function directly or you can write this statement so that you can get the answer if you have constraint like no need to use no, don't use any string length function you can write string length n equals 0 str of n not equals null n plus plus simply keep semicolon at the end of the line for loop so semicolon is must you can see line line number 9 once you come out of the line number 9 what is n value which is definitely the length of the string this is the one shortcut line you can write to get the length of the string so now i equals 0 i less than we need to go for i less than n by 2 right so you can check it out if it is 8 characters so 8 by 2 4 means up to 3 means 0 1 2 3 if it is 9 so 9 by 2 again 4 so i less than 4 means 3 again the same thing right but okay like this you need to check it out here we need to push all each and every character into the stack so anyway stack stores the characters that's why instead of taking int stack i'll take character stack so characters you have to make it so push of character what is a character str of 
i is a character you are pushing into the stack each character is pushed now i need to compare see the problem here comes is according to the length of the string if it is length of the string is even it's fine what if if it is odd that means abc will be pushed then d you need to ignore assume that if there is no d c has to directly compare this is fine right so we need to check it out like this so here i'm checking here anyway push function i'm updating first push function no need of is full condition everything stack of top directly you can make it and uh, this is one line is fine anyway when you pop also you don't want all this simply write top minus minus so anyway display is not required here these are all not required now push of strfi you are pushing each and every character until n by 2 now you need to start from the next is it we need to start from n by 2 so we can write a common line here where it needs to start here here actually so i'll start i is not with n by 2 i'll write here as n plus 1 by 2 so why i'm writing i he has to start with n plus 1 by 2 you have a look here let us suppose if it is a b c d c b a i'll give with two examples one is with even index one is with odd index c b a so this is i mean even size and odd size this is the size is 7 this is 6 now you can see here index 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is also 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 4 5 now if you take these three characters 7 by 2 3 these three are into pushed into the stack here also these three are pushed onto the stack now here the next it has to compare with c that means fourth index here also here it is th third index right so now now the thing what you need to do here is you need to check with the next one let us suppose i'll take a b c d d c b a so this is what i want to check it out if it is 8 what is 8 by 2 4 right so now a b c d 4 has to be taken in that case you need to start with the next you can observe this if it is if i write n plus 1 by 2 if i take the first one 7 plus 1 by 2 8 by 2 starting with 4 absolutely fine now if it is 6 6 plus 1 by 2 7 by 2 which is 3 so starting with this one if you take 8 8 by 2 4 what is 4 plus 1 5 by 2 you can see 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so if it is totally 8 elements what is 8 plus 1 by 2 9 by 2 what is 9 by 2 which is 4 so it has to start from 4 so this is what you can get it with respect to i equals to n plus 1 by 2 so now i need to start i with n plus 1 by 2 which you need to take it and now i has to go up till n till the last i plus plus yeah one more thing we want we have to write here why i want to write this logic with respect to functions so that we'll come to know exactly what it is returning so i want to write printf percent l it has to return either 0 or 1 so i'll write is palindrome there itself i'll write the entire code so is palindrome of str which has to return whether it is true or false return one for either it's true and false i mean return zero for false so i'll write here int is palindrome so we are writing with functions separately this one char str of so like this you need to pass the parameters now what is n n value here i need to give n value comma i anyway here n is not needed both are not needed here now here push str of i perfectly fine for i equals zero now i want to check it out what i need to check it out if the current element str of i is equals to top of the stack stack of top if they are equal fine continue if not equal then immediately return zero so now this part has to continue 
and return 0 after that see I need to pop it right every time one character from the stack so that like so ABC is there first C I am checking C with this C over then pop it so B has to come here stack of top means then str of i next element so if not equal return 0 if yes continue like this finally what should become is this has to successfully go until the last so that means finally your anyway your i has to go and you have to pop every time so finally we are making here as return 1 that means successfully it goes and uh, every time why because you are making half of the part every time that's why so exact match has to be done every time anyway stack will take that i loop goes half and stack will goes half perfectly it has to go so finally it has to return one so that the string is a palindrome let us see whether this will give proper output or not any mistakes we'll see i'll take a string madam yes one I'll take another hello yes zero I'll take another just uh, to make it clear uh, a b c d e and I'll take d c b e so odd yes absolutely fine uh, uh, one more I'll try a b c d so instead of CBA, I'll give CB only. Okay. So like this, I'll give so that can we get the output? Yes, we got it. Uh, I'll give another also ABCD CBB. This is also zero. Yes, absolutely fine. So like this, easily you can write whether the given string is a palindrome or not. You can execute this one. We are done with the stacks concept. We'll see concept of queues in the next video lecture. Thank you.